Hey, Buck, can you go back to that, that yeah. question? Yeah, question. Sure. Yeah. You know, I just I just wanted to bring up that if you if you do the thing where you reduce the zeros on this, you can end up with something that you can do in your head. You know, pretty much yes. Oh, that's that's bonus content. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll teach you the trick where you'll be doing it all. In your head. That's kind okay, of like great. The next step. So yeah. All right, I'm with you. Sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There is a method to the madness. We're all crazy scientists here. All right, so let's try this again. All right, let's try let's try another version of it. A doctor orders you to give 0.5 milligrams of atropine, and you have a syringe with one milligram of atropine and 10 milliliters. You, you have this as a first check. It's on your animals. It's the purple box. Okay, what is the formula? Here we go. The one formula to rule them all. We're going to change it to suit our needs, and we're left with this. Okay, and I'm going to actually. Do it out for you. What's the amount of fluid we have out here? Well, we have 10 milliliters. So here we go. Okay. And the amount of drug on hand is one milligram. All right. Now the dose that the doctor gave us was 0.5 milligrams. All right. And that's over one because there's no time involved in this. And lo and behold, the milligrams cross out. And what we're left with is 10 times 0.5, which winds up being 5 milliliters. And everybody knows that if you want half the purple box, half the box is 5 milliliters. So the math works. Now, that was easy. You can do that one in your head. But there are ones that are a lot more complicated, okay? Um, you can pull out a syringe of something other than atropine. and get you kind of confused, all right? If you're trying to knock down AFib or something else, it won't be that easy. But anyway, that's the syringe formula. Very easy. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the same formula to figure out fluid calculations. Because every once in a while, you know, you just want to hang it to keep open rate or you want to give so much fluid to a burn patient. The same formula works. It really does. Now, I came up with a problem here that's going to come out with a nice, neat answer, uh, for example. But the doctor orders you to give 1,200 milliliters of normal saline over the next hour. Now, you never do that. They probably just say a liter, but uh, to make the math look all nice and neat, I did that. Here is our formula, but again, we're just going to take what we need, all right? Now, this time, do we need a drop set? Yeah, because we're giving normal saline. Do we need a dose over time? Absolutely correct. The doctor told us to give 1,200 milliliters over an hour. But here's the trick. Now, this is the spooky part with this. This is the one that's going to get you. A lot of people want to put this into the formula somehow. And to tell you the truth, if you did, you could probably get it done. But the trick with that is there's really no drug. All we have is fluid. And here's the other part of this. We have an unlimited amount of fluid. And that's one of the reasons I also made it such a big number. Because what happens if you give a liter of fluid to a patient and that bag runs out? You'll go get another liter of fluid. And when that runs out, we get another liter of fluid. So in this equation, there is actually no set amount of fluid. It's considered an infinite number, and there's no drug in the bag, so we actually don't need that part of the equation. And I'm going to modify things here so you'll see that. And this is our formula. All we have is a dose over time and a drip set. That's all we need. All right. So we're going to do the math on this guy. And what you're going to find out is the doctor told you to give 1,200 milligrams, or sorry, milliliters. And he told you that to give you that over an hour. Now, that's not going to help me when I'm trying to count a drop set, is it? So instead of one hour, I'm going to say 60 minutes. All right? Remember, I can mold this formula to my will. I make it do what I want to do. I can make it seconds if I wanted to, but they get kind of complicated. Um, the drip set. If you're going to give that much fluid, boy, you better use a 10-drop set. A 60-drop set is a little inappropriate. You have to flow it too fast. You're going to be able to count it. And, uh, of course, our ratio is 10 drops per milliliter. Now, look what I can do here. I've set up a dimensional analysis formula that lets me cross out things I don't like. And now I'm left with drops 
over minutes, which is what I want. But I don't like zeros either, so let's get rid of them. I don't want them. Okay? So now, all I have is 1,200 divided by 6, all right? Which gives me, in the end, 200 drops a minute, which is not unreasonable. It's a little less than three drops every second, which you can figure out. You can count if you want to, all right? And if I wanted to change it around and do it per second or I wanted to do something, I, I can do whatever I want because now I understand this formula. I mastered it. It's mine, okay? Let's do another one. 